Today, this is Central Coast Newspapers Weekly News 5 at 5 for the closing of September 2022. Remember, clocks go forward for daylight savings from Sunday morning. Now, in the bulletin this week, bold new plans for Gosford Waterfront revealed, new childcare savings to benefit many coast families, school-based apprenticeships may solve the region's skills shortage, the Trojans win their third straight rugby premiership, and the Coastal Twist Festival takes off. Now, for decades of ideas for the revitalisation of the Gosford waterfront have been floated and ultimately rejected, but Central Coast Council is determined that now is the time to act and put a preferred concept out for public comment. We caught up at the launch. So, you know, I'm very, very confident that we've got a proposal here that can be delivered, that is viable, and that will make a significant difference, not just to Gosford, but to the entire Central Coast in terms of providing a, a place where people can learn, where people can get very high uh, level health services, and an opportunity to create a vibrant CBD with office employment as well. But those things don't happen unless we've got a viable connection of that CBD to the waterfront. But what we do need to do, of course, is now confirm a lot of these things. And we now have to move to a very intense and very long ranging and far reaching discussion with our community about what it will actually finally look like. Now, Federal MPs Emma McBride and Gordon Reid helped introduce laws this week which will help cut out-of-pocket costs for families with children in early education and care. We caught up with them just after the legislation passed. The reform is about is cutting the cost of childcare uh, for millions of families right across the country. You know, there's going to be multiple families that are going to be positively impacted by, um, by this legislation. We know that childcare costs have increased significantly. These new laws mean that around 96% of local families with children in early education and care will be better off. Now, State Member for Gosford, Liesl Tesh, is encouraging local employers to look to the state's government's school-based apprenticeship and traineeship scheme to help fill the region's skills shortages. We caught up with Liesl. School-based traineeships is a fantastic way for employers who are looking for apprentices, looking for young people, looking for new members of their workforce to actually connect with young people one day a week whilst they're still in school. Now, a riveting day of rugby at Central Coast Stadium last weekend, the Terrigal Trojans hung on to take out the 2022 Central Coast Rugby Union Premier One Grand Final, 13 points to eight over their long-time rivals, the Arimba Razorbacks. Meanwhile, in football, the Central Coast Mariners have signed a new player, Vanuatu international Brian Kaltak, for the upcoming Asuzu Ute A-League season as an injury replacement for the injured Moshe. Now, all of this week's 42 local stories written by local journalists can be found on our news website, coastcommunitynews.com.au and in this weekend's newsprint edition of the Coast Community News. Find us via your mobile phone's Google News and Apple News apps, where fresh local stories are published every day. And of course, you can subscribe to our weekly email newsletter via our website or follow our socials via YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram for brief highlights throughout the week. And audio files can listen to the bulletin on Radio 50 Plus 93.3 FM throughout the weekend. Now we leave you this week with the news that spring has sprung with the Coastal Twist Festival being launched. At last, we caught up with the happy festival founders Glitter and Juan at the launch. Oh my God, it's festival time. I feel like I've been in this holding pen of re-deconstruction for an eternity. <laughs> but tonight we celebrate Coastal Twist wow. Festival's launch party. And it's just uh, like... Fourth it's, time lucky. Yeah, fourth time lucky. The yeah. sky's parted, so maybe the goddesses of Lame are on our side. <laughs> Liesl, you've followed the Coastal Twist uh, Festival, the ebbs and flows of it over the years. What do you think about now? Oh, it's so exciting. I mean, all that time squashed and hidden away at home 
home and finally yeah. we're back and it's live and it's beautiful and we can't wait. Are you going to go to some of the events yourself? I'm going to every single event I possibly can lay my hands on and especially Fair Day. I think Monday is going to be a huge celebration and I think all going to plan. We've got people coming from Newcastle, people coming from Sydney, people coming from interstate. So bring it on and really showcase. This is arts, it's culture and to me it's inclusion for everybody and it just makes me so happy because I feel like I belong to this community and so do so many others because of what the Naughty Noodle is providing. I'm David Abrahams. Have a great weekend and thanks for tuning in.